just by placing the head and the arm in different spots with this one shape you can have characters turning in space i've split the spine and now i've deceived your little baby infant brain into thinking that this person is turning in space if you have trouble making dynamic poses start with that get learned okay don't you ever draw with an arm or a leg ever ever why don't ever you really wow <laughs> okay when I worked with the Avatar team, they taught me one simple shape to draw figures. Here's what we're gonna do. Three steps, I'm gonna keep it slow so you can follow along. Step one, pick your favorite artist to reference. Step two, find the simple shape. Step three, re-angle pro artists. It's very, very simple. I'm gonna walk you through it, all right? Again, this is one shape, any angle, none of these arms or legs. Arms or legs are just tubes. We're not gonna pay attention to those. We don't need those. If you wanna draw on this level, don't do this. Never do this. And by the way, I just quit my full-time animation job to work on YouTube for you, to make you happy. Are you happy now? Are you happy, June? All right, step one, find your reference. This is too complicated right here. We're artists. We don't know how to read. Why do, you, why do you think we're doing this in the first place? For me, I need to find somebody really, really clear on who to reference good structure. I'm referencing the guy that everybody is referencing in this field, Ryu. Ryu is OG, okay? Baseline, I'm gonna be teaching you no frills, none of this fancy stuff. I'm going to whip you like a child. I will go, I'm going, I'm gonna, I'm gonna whip you like I would whip me. Step two, find the shape. And I know what you're thinking. This looks like a bean. There's a whole thing about artists uh, drawing a bean shape for the body. This is not bean. Bean shape is, is ovals and there's no decisiveness. It's like you can get lost in all these different curves and everything. This shape has a very specific turn and we're gonna go through it in a minute. I'll, I'll explain. And this is all reuse work. All right, I'm gonna draw over these torsos here and I want you to realize that all of these torsos are the exact same. I'm gonna prove it to you. We're not gonna be focused on arms. Arms, no arms, no legs, none of that. Focus on this. We're doing the shoulder and a hip and a pinch. We're always looking for this pinch. Where are these intersecting? Again, if you hear other animators or other people in the industry talking about a bean shape. <laughs> okay, bean is like, no, don't, don't, don't. Okay, watch closely. Pinch, shoulder, hip. Here we go again. Pinch, shoulder, hip. Pinch, shoulder, hip. Pinch, shoulder, hip. Go make them dip. No muscle groups. So we're not doing color coordinates. We're not doing, okay, we're not scientists. We're not rockets. Making things too complicated in your infant little crayon brain. Step three, I'm about to blow your mind. One shape, 50 poses. Right here, you're gonna see me gra grabbing these shapes, these bean shapes. Very simple step. I don't want you to have to think about where the torso is, where the hips are, where this and that is. If you just separate it by doing this, then it can be so much more clear for you. I'm gonna draw where the shoulder would come out and I'm drawing which way the chest is going. And I know it looks like I'm just coming up with this stuff in my head, but I've studied Ryu and people like him so much that this comes naturally. And the more that you study these people, the more that you get into this professional mindset, the easier it's gonna come to you. And you're gonna you're gonna see a shape. This is what's gonna happen. You're gonna see a shape and you're gonna be like, dude, I just connected this shape to all of these angles. Whenever I was working on Voltron, I would take their silhouettes. I would create new drawings based off of their silhouettes, just in different angles. It's literally like magic. I'm gonna show you in a second. Okay, and just by placing the head and the arm in different spots, I'm turning this character in 3D space. Now, again, this isn't perfect. This is a mask. This is a uh, armature that you can build a good drawing off of. It has to start with this uh, fundamental foundation. Okay, back of the head, the legs kind of raising up. An arm is coming up, arms going down. Whichever way I want to do, I can make a simple semi-dynamic pose just with this. Again, I can build off of this later. And what I'm gonna show you in a minute is if you split the spine in a different direction, then you can have these, with this one shape, you can have characters turning in space. I'm gonna show you. See, right here, I've split the spine and now I've deceived your little baby infant brain into thinking that this person is turning in space. And boom, there you go. You got up shots, you got down shots, you got side shots, you got booty shots. If you have trouble making dynamic poses, start with that, get learned, okay? Step four, most important step. I actually talk about this step in my class. The link is in below. I, I can't talk about it right here. Step five. Step five, re-angle professional work. If you wanna get the most learnage out of this uh, dinkle right here. This blew my little sock off the first time I, I saw, I did it when I was four years old.
You got those little bumps on the abs and all of these different spots and wow, look at all these angles and all these curves. And forget it, forget about it. If you wanna draw it like little Timmy, little, little Timmy from high school, Go ahead, draw your little abs, okay? But I'm gonna give you something that you can have foundation. You can build the abs off of it. Forget about these bumps. First thing you do is you white out the inside and get the silhouette of the professional drawing. You need to have this clear silhouette of a pro drawing. If you're already thinking like a pro, then you can already see how to re-angle this into so many multiple directions that you want. First step I like to do, find the shoulders, which direction the shoulders are going and which directions the hips are going. Typically, these should be tapering. They should be converging at some point. Sometimes they're parallel. I, I wouldn't recommend it, okay? There should be a pinch somewhere, somewhere that they converge. All right, look, I'm gonna do it again. Check this out. Boom, first thing, I'm gonna find the shoulders, slight taper with the uh, hips, find that little, little booty, find the pinch right here. Boom, there you go. That's all you have to do. And if you wanna make clothes off of, on top of this character, you can just make sure that things follow these lines. Like the belt should be following that line roughly, you know, if they're wearing a belt or jeans or pants or whatever. Boom, you got a foundation. That's all you need. Step six, I'm gonna give you a little bonus step here. Max learning, applied to figure drawing. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult for your little stupid eyes to see the the direction of the body. But if you study good animation, and you've got good brain, then you can see animation should make it clear. Now you apply it to real life where it's not as clear. I go in and I find where the converging point is at, the, the, the pinching point. That's what I'm looking for, the clarity. I'm gonna find the center line here. All right, this thigh's got a little bump right here. Completely ignore it. Don't overcomplicate yourself, okay? Just do the tubes. And for the face, keep it simple. Just do a little oval with a little direction of where the bridge of the nose is. Shoulder pinch, hip, gonna make them dip. All right, and here, right, right here, you might say, well, Ethan, this isn't the secret shape that you were telling us to use. Well, it is. It's just that you, you're s so stupid that you can't see it yet because you're thinking on like one dimension, okay? You take this sucker and you spread it and skew it and you start thinking, try to imagine if you were smart and then that would be what you would be seeing. Watch this. Wow, pretty cool, huh? All right, skew your mind. All right, roughly the same, <clears throat> roughly the same shape, just put in a different dimension. You feel me? All right, with the trash bag person, you find the shoulders, the hips, pinching point, simple. Moving on. Try to do this for a bunch of figures and just get used to it, all right? Don't just down the same one and noodle it, just move on. Here's the shape again, but I split it down the spine now it looks like he's turning in space, especially after you've had the noodle legs. Do not do this. Last but not least, try not to break down people with clothes on. It, it just gets too complicated. There's just like clothes everywhere and you just start, it, it's just bad. I see students doing all this time. All right, try to look at naked people. That was fun. I'm gonna be trying to post every week now. Uh, I just, again, quit uh, my major studio animation job. For you, it's all for you. Check out my new classes taught right here. And for the first time ever, there are classes taught by professionals in the industry that you can go check out. There's gonna be some crazy new teachers coming to this school that you know of that we're not talking about yet. It's super secret. It's very exciting. And it's gonna have a lot to do with uh, fresh new projects that you wouldn't see anywhere else. It's gonna be really, it's gonna be, uh, you can just cut it off whenever, whenever I just, yeah, just cut me off.